Dimitri Saltine of the Unified team has surprisingly moved into third place. Dimitri's doing a forward three and a half in the pike position. It's the same dive we just saw Ken Ferguson do. He has dived very consistently all day, but I noticed something on the bottom of that dive. He's in good position coming off the board here. Nice tight pike, but watch his legs twist as he starts entering the water. You'll actually see his calves turning toward the judges. It'll be interesting to note if the judges saw that, the normal rate of speed that he does this dive and whether or not they hit him for it. Saltine scores six and a half up to eight. 64 total points. Dimitri Saltine is in the medal chase, and wouldn't that be something, uh, considering all he's been through? Boy, last December, as the Soviet uh, Communist Party was disintegrating, he got into an argument with the party's uh, official son. It escalated into a fight. The other guy pulled a knife, and Dimitri was stabbed four times. Last December, this man almost bled to death, and here he is in August doing some great stuff at the Olympic Games. You can even see the scars there on his stomach. No one was ever prosecuted in that situation. Saltine scores six and a half and sevens. There's actually one six, which will be thrown out as the low score. So Saltine cracking a bit under the pressure. Here's 18-year-old Dimitri Saltine in third place. This is the dive he missed in the preliminaries. He missed it for five and a halves. It's his make or break dive. It's reversed two and a half in the pike position. Mistake. That was a beautiful dive. It's a little rough on the end of the board here, but watch his pike, how flat it is. His legs are right on his, his uh, head there, right in the water. That puts the pressure back again on Ken Ferguson. For an 18-year-old, he's doing awfully well at the Olympic Games. He needs just under 64 total points to stay ahead of Ferguson, and he well exceeds that. He'll stay in third place.